Welcome back. The Tran wins. Dismantle. Welcome back. Let's play baseball. Super hit. It's the cleanest and fastest way to take care of him. He looks anything but clean, just so you know. Oh, they are called a puker. Ew, really? I think that's what they're called. And maybe it's their in-game, but I'm pretty sure these are called pukers. I mean, befitting. As I walked by, there was a guy inside the building who looked like he was going, Hey, like, how's it going? Like, he's waving through the window. Yeah, those guys always hurt. That's why I always try to approach them with some sort of plan. Plus, they had the, the bait or whatever that they wouldn't be hitting me. Yeah, there was some recent... Uh, one of the patches or something makes them... I'm not sure if it's intentional, but sometimes they attack anyways. Good to know. That hurt. It hurt quite a bit. Why don't we uh, show our appreciation for that by demolishing his house? Look at the hammer out. I find it crazy, like, how powerful is this hammer that everything turns to little tiny toothpick-esque? Yeah, the name of the game is this man. So I can imagine that people who <laughs> want to watch the game actually want to watch me break stuff. I guess I never thought of that. They have a cardboard box in I'm sorry, I just been to see this box. They got a package and they never opened it. I opened it. It was a cup and a fabric. I guess it was fragile. That was a big box for that. We got XP for smashing stuff? Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I'm so high level. Oh. Like, by high level, I mean, uh, like, as soon as, as soon as the next patch comes out, I'll pretty much just automatically hit that cat, huh. no, matter, no matter what happens. It's interesting to get XP from just smashing stuff. They were having a picnic with cups and drinks. I don't see any cups. <laughs> kind of weird it all floats. It's not just static, it's wiggling. That's how you know it's a pickup. As I walk through, look at like rip, 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 rip. Well, I think they learned a lesson. I need one more hand to be able to change weapons on the room like you. What's with those stakes in the middle of the hay piles? I have no idea. Maybe it's something farmers do. Oh. Maybe. <sighs> that looks dangerous. Glad I didn't leave the way in there. Oh, here's a radio. Am I to fall? Am I to leave this haven of my rest? 
This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Couldn't see you, but there's a trail of stuff coming flying out of your body. That's how you know I'm efficient. This must be the Westport Harbor area. Now to find that lost equipment. Ooh, water. I don't like water. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Look at all those bathrooms. Oh, there's something in that toilet. Oh, let's see. I think it's another room. Oh man, I got excited. <laughs> you can search the toilet. No, <laughs> good. mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and the third part of the ships were destroyed this is an automated recording sent from k23 the crown station congratulations for d being congratulations for d being employed by the westport harbor area for 15 years Sadly, our fleet of jeeps is mostly out of order for at least three weeks. I don't actually need to use a grenade, but I, the reason I do that is to kind of let you know that this is about to blow up. Yeah, I appreciate that. I was sitting. No, I wasn't. I was just straight above shot. <sighs> oh, you are such a... Oh, do I really have to do this? You can't do it on that side. Because there's a rail. I'm going to turn the camera real quick. There's a rail right there, so you can't do that. Oh, and we have to go across this? Yeah, this is the only way across. Okay, can I turn so I'm going forward? I feel like that would go better. Yeah, that's fine. But before we do that, uh, we should actually activate the link tower. Oh, well, that sounds like a plan. And then we can turn on deadly transmission, which will also make our lives easier. Sounds good to me. Alright, turn the camera however you want. You're really nervous. I know, and you're sitting there on a keyboard, which is much harder to go. In a... The trail of police car leads the way. Where's this bridge heading to? Bridge is out. I don't know why they're calling it a bridge. Look, I made it. Good. Now you just have to make it back when we're done. Oh, how are you? I like this bridge better. 
This path is blocked. Perhaps there's a way around. You sure you like this well, bridge? We could smash it. Okay. We... I mean, isn't this what we do? Nope. You hit. I find this ridiculous. Also, there's a door right here. Yeah, or I could help you climb it or something. And this is very upsetting. We could push these things over there, climb up. I mean, it's just. Or we could jump. Yeah, it's making stuff up. That's what it's doing. Oh, hi, I didn't see you. Last time I tried to go in there first. Try to take initiative. Bad idea. Oh, that's so can tell. I thought they were still, like, trying to see us. Yeah, they were. Okay. I was scared. <laughs> but, but I needed to sneak up on them. Oh. Like this. Nice. Measure. Might as well. If you want to rotate it, you should do it once I've reached, uh, like, once you've reached me or something. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it. Yeah, so, like, don't rotate it while I'm moving. Right. Like it's that. not a big room for error. I mean, there's some room, but I mean, now to finally find that lost equipment. a lot of stuff. Oh, that's the equipment. Quest completed. While the gear you found was in shambles, you should be able to reverse engineer something out of them. Let's make a tank. <laughs> oh, did not mean to roll. I was trying to turn my run. It's the same key in my it, defense. Is it really? Yeah, I have to like hit it twice. Wow, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I wonder if there's a control that Okay. Well, hold on. Gamepad. Dodge and run. You wouldn't change that at all? No, I'm kind of used to it now. I'm worried if I if I switch it now, it's going to be ugly. Because I haven't had many accidental rolls. What if you just press and hold right now? Without moving, you just press and hold. Does anything happen? No. So that's probably what you need to do. Why don't you detonate that? You can shoot it. Okay. This is that bus you didn't like. Manually shoot it. Oh, maybe you're not able to. Do you have knives or anything? Uh, a knife? Yeah, that's right. Throw it. Oh, really? It's like 4th of July. The skull here indicates that it's infected inside. And this is the only place that has it? <laughs> There's nothing to search in here. Uh, I guess not. Why they bother marking it? Well, they marked it because they don't want you to go inside. <laughs> Fun. 
Okay, that's it, right? Yeah. Angle. Okay, and go. I can run. That was very stressful. There's a lot of refrigerators in that room over there. It's like four. No, three in a safe. Maybe. Who is that pink refrigerator? Alright. Oh, we can make a motorcycle helmet. That's probably from the level up we had earlier. Uh, Stylin. Let's get this more slashing melee damage and some melee d damage blocks. So we'll go ahead and make one of those. And here's the riot shield, which is the thing we get. Um, it has shield hit points, which I'll demonstrate for the purposes of the video and for you how it gets used. Now, it does use knockback strength, and I, you should probably pair it with the baseball card. But for the purposes of just showing what the shield is like, we're actually going to uh, use it without. So, oh wait, first, first it looks like it, I don't have any hit points on the shield, so actually, I, even though it automatically equipped it before I left the camp, it didn't supply me with points. So this actually does not have any points. Actually, I'm, I am kind of curious about something. Huh. We'll try it later. Alright, so now once I once I go to the camp, I should get a number down here, like 60 or so. Oh, just like you get 80. There we, there we go. And so while you're swinging it, actually, what do you, once you equip your shield, if you have it, yeah, okay. Basically, if you're swinging your shield for any reason, you you are not blocking at that time, even if your shield is in front of you. So, it does take a little bit of practice, but after a while, you'll get used to it. So, here's some guys. Wow, this is like nothing. Well, that's it's not meant for damage. Just let them hit you or something. Oh. You blocked the vomit. Yeah. So this dude's doing serious damage to my shield. But I can't actually just stand here and take it. Oh, that hurt. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but... Um, can I switch? Yeah. Good. Okay, I'm gonna do a little healing action here. Sure. Just not slow the game down later. Well, we're actually gonna head back to base anyways. Oh, okay, well, I'll replenish. All right, so that was the shield. Not, not the most terribly useful thing. Not a fan. Not a fan of it myself, but I think it's important that you at least get used to it. So we'll do that one more time, but this time I'm going to go ahead and equip something. Uh, the, this baseball card, and I think that'll be it for now. Oh, and if you wanted, you can equip this now. Style it. It matches my my plaid. Let's see here. This gives you some damage block. Okay. And we'll give the shield one upgrade for now. This will, this doesn't this doesn't really increase damage by much. It increases by two points, so don't expect it to do a lot more. It will, of course, give you a little bit more hit points, but that's that's its main effect. I still want you to practice with it a little bit. So there's there's another puker up here. Shield wall. I was just thinking that. That's a power hit. Yeah, power shield. <laughs> just, oh, I swung the wrong time. All right. Well, manage yourself while I'll fight these two. Yours. I'm fine. No, I think it's funny if we just bounce on the back and forth. Oh, ping pong. What? He roared after he died. He was angry. I lost the game. That still hurts a fair bit. Well, that's because you were not blocking. If you're attacking at all, you're not blocking. So you have to you have to not attack. And then once they've done their attack, then you attack. Uh, yeah, you gotta wait. 
But this is probably only really useful for projectiles that you can't roll through. Like when the turrets shoot, you can't roll through those projectiles. When the mutants shoot their mucus poison or their mucus explosives, you can't roll through it. So the only real this is best used for blocking that kind of stuff. I do want to test something. Uh, why don't you heal yourself real quick? Okay, I'm gonna turn on friendly fire. I want to see if I can actually send you anywhere. I've got the I've got the knockback card equipped. So I want to see if this is a possible method of transportation. I love how you call attacking me transportation. I feel like that's a bit uh, of a reach. Okay, I need, you, I need you to turn off. Can't up. touch this. I need you to turn off your shield. Actually, hold on. Don't do anything. I, you have 21 shield points now. I want to see if this if this is a one to one ratio for for player damage. So okay, that that did uh, what 12 damage. Yep. Okay. So that's what happens when your shield oh. is broken. But you can still attack with it. Oh, so, I have like shards. Yeah. So it's only used good for attack. It does not do any defense. Uh, that's still the same status you would have if you equipped your shield without having been to a campfire first. So. Mm -hmm. So even though it will look like a totally normal shield, um, I think I've, I've seen players get totally destroyed trying to put on the shield for the first time before being ready. You should practice with it first in a non non threatening situation and make sure that you've visited a campfire. This is good. This is not. It's like a shield with no hit points. Yeah. So I'm going to attack you again just to see how far you fly. Okay. It's not bad. I wonder if that's faster than normal. All right, let's try running and I'm going to hit you in the back. Okay. And run left. You feel faster? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know that we should make this our go-to. I don't know. Hit me. That's 36. Interesting. Try hitting me in the side. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was going to be um, back back attack damage. Let's make sure we turn the, the friendly fire off. Sure. I would suggest you try the shield at least one more time until you're comfortable with it. You, you're, you'll never be as powerful as with the katana. That's not going to be a thing. But you should at least know how to operate with it. How does he not see me? Right here. He likes you better? What was that? Can't touch this. So it's kind of like you would do in a lot of games. You block hits until there's a pause and then you swing. Right. That's basically all I'm looking for you to do. You don't have to become a master of the shield or anything. I am curious about one thing, so... You might want to stay back. It blocked it. Yeah. None of my friends play with me anymore. All they care about is the big brother. There's no one to keep me company. That sounds ominous. Is that a little robot thing? Yeah. You'll like this place. Please do not touch the art installation. Neil. What in the world? It don't blow it up. I like it. That's kind of cute, yeah. but kind of creepy at the same time. So there's these little robots, and they even have different poses. Like, this one's pointing, this one's an awe, that one's the same one, and this one's like, yay! Um, and they have these, I guess, barrel. I don't know what the barrels are supposed to represent, because I thought this was supposed to be like a rocket ship, but when I tried blowing it up, it didn't send this dude anywhere, it just gibbed everybody. Oh, well, that sucks. And I realized it was you chasing the deer. All right, here we go. What do you attach? Oh, there's a stake. I know you attach the rope to. You knew this was more dangerous because as this was loading, you looked over like she has no idea what we're about to walk into.
trying to remember what I'm... Maybe it was... Uh, uh, no, no, I remember now. Fuck, I didn't do the switch. Now, you can see that this one is no longer firing because there's no blast coming out of its eyes. So it's safe to push this one for now, then to push this back, which will result in this coming down. But there's also, you can't see it at this angle, but there's a lever right here, which will turn off one of the other skull ones, uh, that one right there. So now we'll just push this one over. Um, this one should turn off that one. Oh, maybe not that one. Uh, that one. All right, so let's see here. That one will open that. Now, since we have two players, we could easily just make someone stand on there, but it's fine. This is the legitimate way to finish this map. So now, now by flipping that, um, that allows this guy to stop firing. And then you to put this down, and this will... Uh, orb! Said, yeah, and then you get the orb. Do you just try to hit me? Yes. I knew it wouldn't work, but I thought it'd be funny. Oh, don't leave me! Bye. Usually I don't try to beat you to it. This is the next one of the next zones. So it's just basically what a, it's just a force field that prevents you from walking through. They have buses in other places to prevent us, and now they have a magical force field. That... Well, well, you were expected to deal with the bus. This is just going to be dealt with later. These areas were all covered by this before. So this is to prevent you from going through, and I've I've actually tried to get through by like rolling and then hitting escape and then turning on co-op mode just to see if I could manage to get through somehow. Yeah. Now there's probably a way through, such as for example, um, let's try friendly fire. It yeah. probably doesn't work, but we could always try. Nope. Wow. That that was painful. Okay, well you should probably manage yourself. Excellent. Here's some water. Oh, nice. Just trying to knock him into the water. So this is an arena obelisk, which is not enabled. Nothing happens yet. Explosive dude. So this one, you should definitely block him. He just ripped my shield up. Where, whereas some of them, you might decide to try to get away with uh, punching them before they attack you. In his case, I would definitely block it and then attack him. All people are cordially invited to the tea party. It's a party! Do not smash the table. It's so fancy. This behavior is fitting of a fancy tea party. Jealous you were warm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's it for here. The only real thing of interest up here is fishing. was a dead body, but he was alive. <laughs> 
nice. This should open up some roots. Unfortunately, it requires five of those electronic parts, which we don't have five. We have one. Really? That's all we have? Well, I mean, right now we have one. We have to go back to base to uh, withdraw some. Because I'm like, surely you've harvested so much stuff. Oh yeah, I've, 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 got, I've got enough to, to probably win the game with. We've been unable to open the building behind the log mansion. It's protected by an electronic keypad. It seems like the code is spread throughout the mansion, overrun by those monsters. We're gonna have to go in there, aren't we? Well, we don't have to. Sounds dangerous. There is a building locked with a key code behind the log mansion. You should search for the code inside the luxurious log villa. Search for the code inside the mansion. I've never heard of a log mansion. Like, that's a lot of logs. Now, the reward for this quest is actually fairly considerable. Actually, something I don't have a lot of. <laughs> However, this very. These are just a bunch of scissor. Uh, blade men, so I mean, this is totally easy. It says welcome on the map. I never noticed. That's what I'm here for. Notice this kind of stuff. I'm gonna throw it and wait and get you. Oh, ah. oh, Sorry, I was trying to search. This shelf has a lot of coffee table books with pictures. Oh, nice. We do. Oh, wow. There you go. That works too. Oh, they're searching in their hand. I think that one's on the other side. A bookshelf full of self help literature. I know you see. I think they need it. This seems important. Better not destroy it. I think you were trying to hit it, so. Oh. One hundred one party tips for a successful birthday party. Seems to rely almost completely on balloon animals. Seems like someone's kept all their accounting in one place. Hello. Hi, neighbor. These rooms are very highly uh, interconnected. I'm stuck on the wall. I'm sorry. What's well, a chair, Mel? Hey, I get over there. I'll use the door. Is that a half-eaten sandwich? What's with all the commentary they have on all the items now? That's well, just for these this quest. Oh, okay. We're supposed to search for a code, and so... Oh, so. that's right. Just some dictionaries in this shelf. Code seems to be 0451. Now to find that keypad. Did I find it or did you? You found it. I'm a winner! Not this way. Didn't put the code. You can have the honor since you found the code. <laughs> Something's gonna happen, isn't it? There! Now the door should be unlocked. The reinforced building behind the luxurious log villa is open. What might be inside? Come on! No, you can. <laughs> Stuff! <laughs> you shutting the door was cruel. <laughs> I thought for sure something was going to happen. Nah, the important thing was that since this had mana shards in it, which there's very, very li- Oh, this, these things are not straight. <laughs> which are very, very limited amounts. You need them for the highest level of upgrades. Yeah, I appreciate that this game, like, there's attention to detail as far as, like, there's laundry hanging outside, there's a soccer net, a slide, like, little environmental details like that are a nice touch. <sighs> you have 340-something of those? Uh, I have no idea. Right, you had a lot, I think. Uh, it, I basically, I just consider that myself too wealthy to count. All 
right, that leads back to areas we've already cleared or ca came from. Um, this is the town we were in earlier, where if you consider this the train and all that, this is that town we were searching, and then okay. this is that ice world. Um, so there's not much in this direction. We can. Just, there is a deer, and you follow it at night, and it leads you to a dig pile, and that's about it. Um, let's see. In this region, there's that, and then we will proceed south from here. South to New Realm or still in the South zone? to the New Realm. So, so we have one more area in Westport to cover. And that should be uh, content for episode 39, I believe. And then we'll hit the desert. We'll hit the next area for episode 40. Yeah, I never let those explosive guys hit you with a full blast. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Yeah. Like, like a dog does four damage, he will basically one shot you. The only thing worse than getting, than beginning getting hit by him is falling in the water. So, so every other monster is uh, a pushover. Very glad we're not going back over the bridge. There actually is a time chest over the bridge. Oh man. <laughs> I wonder if we will search if it makes it faster. Nope, it doesn't, but you found the item first. Man. I have him. Someone start searching. Oh well, that's fine. I was just trying. To, I was trying not to stand in his acid pool, so I was gonna go swing around and hit him in the back again. Well, that's right. What is that house? It sure is personal. What does that mean? Uh, well, it means that this house has a nice personal touch to it. It's just random and weird. Pretty much. They laughed at me when I said I was going to build a house completely by myself. Who is laughing now? I ask them. That's definitely how he would sound. So he even put a door on this window, which I think is actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> can't open it again. It, it went to the other window, and now I can't interact with it again. Makes a better door than a window. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, real cool thing. Um, it's this sink right here. It's built sideways. <laughs> oh, wow. And yeah, they have stuff on top of that. That's, I think it's a, like a soda can. Let me just do a quick... Spin around. Appreciate that. Is that a toilet in the, the kitchen entryway? Uh, well, this, this may not have been the entryway. This is just the, 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 the way I picked. Right. It's also off the ground. Yeah. It's so that you can see things from your throne. <laughs> I, <pushed it> <laughs> I was trying so hard. The dog's going to eat it? Were they are they chasing it? Yeah. <gasps> Welcome to Camp Courageous, the number one place for summer activities. There's heads on a pole. Slowly cooked yet amazingly fresh baked dish full of flavor and aroma. Tomato gratin. Okay. So this says melee attack delay 5%. I went and tested what this was. Uh, what this results in is actually a faster attack. Uh, about four frames faster. I really should phrase that better. Yeah, I know. I, I had to see if there was something that I really wanted to keep. Stop behind the door. Uh, sounds like your problem. <laughs> Well, somebody closed it, so I opened it. Apparently, it pushed me behind the door. I'm not sure I closed it. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I might have done it. I well, I'm, I'm going to eat this, then, while you're behind that door. Okay. There we go. 
Keep really. Oh, I didn't see that door. It describes a legend of the ancient folks who inhabited the island. The wise elders confronted the one armed king. You brought this on us, said the elders, you are the pestilence. The one armed king could not convince the wise elders with his lies and deceit. Death was sentenced. Well, that sounds like a fair trial. There's actually a couple more tablets that we hadn't picked up on the recording, which we might as well get now that I hit, we hit that one. Um, since this episode already had one tablet, we'll go ahead and show off two more tablets that I missed during the recording. Um, they were added during the patches, so here's this one. The brave warriors grabbed the one-armed king while he was sleeping. The king was thrown into the deepest pit on the island. We all watched. Surely the pestilence would end now? That was unusually cruel. Oh my guy is shaking in fear. So the tablets will change the order of what they represent depending on the order you find them. Oh, so it's not static. No, it is static. It's static in that you always find the same ones in the same order, regardless of which tablets you pick up. Gotcha. Well, that's convenient. You have to worry about getting the storyline straight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one that was added. I was maneuvering around the map looking for place of the fish, and I came across this tablet as well. Let's go ahead and grab that. But when we returned to our village, the king was already waiting for us there. I forgive you, said the immortal king. But we didn't believe his lies and deceit. He is a snake. The wise elders now knew what is to be done. The guy tried to offer an olive branch after having been thrown in the pit. I have a question for you. What? Why did the one-armed king cross the road? Why? To get to the second-hand shop. Because he didn't had one hand! This is where you're supposed to laugh. 